Hey, how's it going guys? So this video has been recommended to me by one of my viewers who saw uh, one of my Halo live action trailer reaction video. So what happened was uh, I reacted to the Halo live action trailers and saw all of them and they did a, a fantastic job of doing it because I, I thought that maybe like maybe they could like make a movie out of it or something like that besides the TV series, you know, but uh, one of you guys commented I forgot uh, who it was so if, I'm, I'm really sorry about that saying that there was actually more like kind of live uh, Videos, I think you guys said like live trailer or live videos uh, Like I did not see and it's called the Halo 3 believe campaign and apparently it's like uh, interviews or something like that. So I'm really curious to see what it is. I don't know anything about it or like what's being interviewed. Like, is it going to be the voice actors or something like that? Or are we like interviewing like characters in the game and pretending that they're real life or something? I don't know. But either way, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen because I really have high expectations after the Halo live action trailers. So without anything else, let's get into it. Oh, death was never an enemy of ours. We laughed knowing that better men would come. In greater wars, when each proud fighter brags, he wars on death for lives, not men, for flags. The next war. Nations the Museum have always of built monuments to their heroes. Tributes to the defense against or conquest of other nations. But the monument here doesn't favor one nation over another. It is the first of its kind to commemorate the enduring survival of a species, our species. More importantly, it commemorates the man who gave the world faith, who gave humanity a future, who made mankind believe again. Master Chief oh. Petty Officer John 117. So it is uh, acting like if Halo Universe was real life believe the John 117 monument so it's no surprise that the piece itself is special begun three years ago in 2607 the monument is a diorama built entirely by hand it is a three-dimensional snapshot of the battlefield and the soldiers who took to it that day the scene is really re that's really cool taking attention to detail and authenticity only the men and women who were there know it better today we go behind the scenes to see its creation. To ensure historical accuracy, the boot camp induction scans of every Marine involved in the battle were obtained from the United Nations Space Command records. In this way, the artists were able to place the right face to the right soldier. After each face is completed, it That's is really matched cool. to a body which has been rendered complete with uniform and body armor, then carved by hand. It was the artist's vision for this tribute to humanity that each piece be shaped by the hand of man without the aid of robotic model-making systems. Each handmade soldier is posed, painted, and placed on the battlefield, both the victorious and the fallen. Based on topographical maps of the day, the artists are able to replicate each hill, each plateau, and each ravine to near exact specifications. But one of the real marvels is in the cityscape itself. After fighting had ceased, meta-archaeologists unearthed the city's building archives. In them were found perfectly preserved architectural blueprints of every structure in the city. But the I like how this video is being done. Structures. Like the commentary and acting like as well. uh, now we from the remember those who have fallen and what happened. Fighting from each bullet hole to each piece of exposed rebar. Finally, our enemies were also rendered with extraordinary detail. Covenant corpses that had been recovered after the battle provided the models for these fearsome recreations. To complete the picture, authentic Covenant weapons and armor specs were accessed to fully outfit the warriors. Wow, that's cool. Once the Covenant are placed opposite the Marines, a clear image begins to take shape out of the fog of history. We see how we were outnumbered, outgunned, outmatched, and seeing that, we realize the importance of the monument. On that day, half a century ago, our species was pushed to the crumbling edge of extinction, and as we teetered on that precipice, staring down into the abyss... Wow, the amount of detail they put into this is amazing, the like the art. 
and gave us hope. The hand of a hero. Major Powell Zernick. Can you tell us what you remember about the battle? We'd been fighting for a while. On the seventh day, we ran out of ammo. We had to scavenge all we could from the weapons that had been left behind. The pistols, shotgun rounds, a handful of grenades. Do you remember where you were? When Master Chief armed his grenade, I was in the back of an overturned warthog firing an M41. How did you manage to keep it together? We knew Master Chief was still in the fight. He gave us hope. I was a sniper. He used a, a standard high-powered sniper rifle. At 600 yards, it would go through about 13 Major feet of Major Roland Huffman. What about you? Well, I... Sergeant Tomas Navarro. I'm just a shotgun. Could you tell us a bit about that one? Uh, this one, sure. Um, we, we saw a lot of these. This is an old Covenant weapon. It's a spike rifle. We call it the Spiker. And who used it? Well, the Brutes, mostly. Can you show us how it worked? Sure. Um, it was a... They used it as a handgun. Whoa. Or is it a replica? That's heavy. Holding an enemy weapon like this is, uh, feels... Uh, I don't like it. If, um, if you'd have told me a few years ago we would be here in this place talking about this, I would have said, no way, it's not going to happen. If there's one reason why we're here, um, I would say it's, uh, <coughs> it's because of the chief. By the way, their acting is phenomenal, like acting like they were actually veterans of the war, so, wow. This was wow. made by a plasma rifle. This is it. Right here. This is the spot. I bet I can remember every one of these trees. Lieutenant John Tippett. How did your platoon get picked down here? We got word the Covenant was out here hunting us, and that Master Chief wouldn't be able to rendezvous with us until dawn, so... We have to go dark. Go dark? Uh, it's no helmet lights, no readouts, nothing that will give away our positions. Like rabbits down a hole. Invisible. Do you mind if we turn the lights off? Okay. All right. I like how he hesitated, like he, that PTSD. What happened then? For seven hours. Still and listen to them hunting us. Oh, I like the sound and the echoes, like he's listen. reliving it. And wait for Mr. Chief. For the first time in 43 years, Lieutenant, Shah. Lieutenant Shah returns to the site of the battle. What is that? A shell from a sniper rifle. It's amazing there's still so many remnants out here. Where's Master Chief's grave? I don't think anyone really knows. Master there was a ceremony wow. five years ago <laughs> over there. Just as a symbolic gesture. The coffin was empty. Why was the coffin empty? No Spartan could be listed as KIA. They could only be listed as MIA, missing. So it could be said, but no Spartan was ever killed in combat. So the ceremony 
was tribute, more than a burial. It doesn't look like much. The chief told me once that no soldier should be honored for doing what is expected. Do you believe that? I did. That's a good I quote. Still did. Look at the detail on that. I wonder how long it took to like build and make all this. Oh, he's being dragged away. Damn. Is that Master Chief? They're holding... Oh, and he was holding a grenade. Oh, there's still more. Presence believe. Symphony of Orchestra. I hope this doesn't get copyrighted. Please receive the highest commendations for bravery, countless decorations for honor and selflessness. But Master Chief's greatest achievement reaches far beyond what any medal could ever hope to commemorate. With the men and women of the 26th century, he is a human embodiment of possibility, the last Spartan standing against an angry tide. The strength of spirit is forged through his legend. Jericho 7. The Battle Reach. High charity, tales riff with sacrifice and courage, tales that grow, flourish, and inspire. And while he shapes his own history, he in turn shapes the history of all who follow. For no matter what horrors are released upon that day, but aw, oh, dang. <laughs> A hero need not speak. When he is gone, the world will speak for him. I like that. Okay, so that was Halo 3 Believe All Interviews video. And I gotta say, that was really... Uh, that was what I really uh, like. Or actually here. Uh, I'm sorry. Halo 3 Believe campaign video with all the interviews. So what I really like about it is... Um, Throughout the whole video, it kind of reminds me of one thing. So I visited a few like history uh, museums, war like World War One. I. I visited the World War One and World War Two history uh, museums in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, and also I visited the Marine Corps uh, History Museum in Quantico, Virginia. And basically, it kind of like reminds me of that, like how you saw in the video, you could see like uh, displays of like the armor and the weapons and the equipment and the vehicles that were used during the war and then you have some of the elderly gentlemen who were depicted as the veterans in that war so you see how like the first um, old man he's like talking and by the way they did a phenomenal job acting like if they were the veterans of the war and you can see them talking and you can see the emotions coming out of them when they're like retelling the moments that they lived through and saying like hey this is you know, this is what happened and this is the weapon in front like this is the enemy's weapon i don't like touching it because it kind of gives me nightmares or bad memories and you could see the man who was out in the dark he's like showing like where the plasma rifle scarrings were and uh, saying like this is what happened we were in the dark for seven hours and then uh, i like how the video like put like some of the like uh, echoing uh, noises of what happened that night like uh, you could hear the rustling in the leaves, you could hear like the covenant moving around here and there, and you could also hear all that. And the last man, he like picked up a, a sniper round shell and said like, uh, this, I can't believe this is here, this was like so many years ago, 
And this is what Master Chief told me. So basically, all of them had one common thing. Master Chief. They told like how he was the inspiration, how he saved and everything. So I guess, and I mean, I, I don't mean I guess. And to see like the tribute that they made for him saying like he is our inspiration. He is the monument. He is the one. And it looked like it showed at the end there, uh, Master Chief was being held by one of the... Crap, I, I forgot the species. I'm not good with this, guys. I'm really sorry. But he was held by one of the Covenant, um, how do you say, brutes? Uh, I don't, I don't want to say brutes. Crap, man. I, I, hey, please don't blast me for this. <laughs> but one of the enemies, and you can see like he had a grenade in his hand. So it looks like he sacrificed himself by uh, blowing himself up, but taking a lot of enemy with him. But it's really cool to see like uh, how they like uh, depicted this uh, video and like pretty much like put like a lot of like similarities and comparison with like real life uh, war veterans so it was really cool to see so again phenomenal acting by the old men who acted as the veterans of that war so again thank you guys for recommending me this video it was amazing so again i hope you enjoyed my reaction to this video because this was amazing i know i keep on saying amazing over and over but really because i really like uh, for me personally i like history so that's why i like this video a little bit more so thank you guys for watching and also keep an eye out for more content and also check out my other videos I have on my channel. And again, thank you guys so much for your continued support in this channel. I really do appreciate it and hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you guys are and I'll see you guys next time.